What's up guys? Coming at you today from the garage where I'm gonna be building a brand new layout. Um, I'm gonna be using this entire space. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I build a diorama or a layout. I basically use these six foot folding tables. You can pick these up at Walmart and I want to say they range anywhere from 30 to maybe 40 bucks. Now on this particular setup right here, I think I have three six foot folding tables. I use four and I have lots of them. Now this is just a pack of panel foam. You can pick up at Lowe's. You get six sheets. Once I lay my foam on my tables, I basically take some regular duct tape. This is something you're gonna need. And I cover up the spaces in between with duct tape so nothing falls through the cracks. So that way, when I get tired of this layout, I can just tear it down and I still have my tables. Foam is really good when you have trees, now with foam, you take a tree and it's just easy. You can just, even if you have this painted or sprinkle some grass on it, it sticks right through. You're gonna need some kind of paint brushes. And I have a roller here and some little disposable foam brushes. You're gonna need some rulers or just one ruler, sharp knife. This is important. And this is called play tape. This is what I use for my roads on my layouts. Walmart used to carry this stuff, but in the past, let's say two months, I cannot find it anywhere. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's being discontinued, but this is pretty much like the main thing you're gonna need to build a layout. I mean, I love it. Some guys, you know, create their own roads, but guys, this is what I use for all my roads. Let me show you. Like on my custom shop layout, that's what I used, the play tape. And Walmart, Hobby Lobby, even Toys R Us, when they were open, everybody sold this stuff. I had to go on eBay and place an order. And the price, I think these things were like $2 a roll. But on eBay, it's really expensive. But I need them. So I bought as many as I could. We're going to need some paint. Um, this is going to be a brown paint, and I also have some gray paint. Okay, guys, I got my paint open, and now I'm ready to paint. show you how I make my roads. Let's move the camera back a little bit. Like I said guys, be really careful using these sharp knives when you're cutting. You don't want your fingers to get in the way. We have the foam board cut. It's six inches wide and we're gonna go and lay this down onto the wet paint. Okay guys, we're gonna try it again with the foam board.
Just position it where you want it. Now, if it's not in the right spot, you can't always come back and move it. Okay, guys, what I did, I took my plate and basically just set it up to where half of the plate was off, half was on the foam board. Took my pencil and came around, stopped in the middle, drew a straight line, and did the same thing on the other side. And here we have it, guys. This is my intersection. So let's go set this in place. All right, let's just match up. This section. You don't want to get your hands in the wet paint, so be careful. And now we've got an intersection. So it's coming along pretty good. So let's go ahead and cut out the rest of the foam boards to make blacktop road and we're gonna be done with this part okay guys i went ahead and painted from the blacktop road all the way to the end of the foam because what i'm going to do while this paint is still drying i'm going to go ahead and use some woodland scenics blended turf is all over with it's going to be probably one of the best I've done now on this particular layout I'm not going to do any ditches or ponds or anything like that like I had on my last layout it just takes a lot to get that realistic water look and I'm just not going to do it on this particular layout. I'm basically going to use as much as this as I can for my 164 scale trucks. So while I got that done, I'm just going to go ahead and paint this whole entire area gray to match the rock I'm going to lay down. So let me get that knocked out. This is going to sit and dry overnight. So tomorrow, I'm going to be adding a lot more. So let's just set that right there. Trees. 
just to give it that scenic look. Grass. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for part two. Peace.